Hey guys, it's Rachel, and this week I'm back with another acting video. <coughs> so today, we are going to be talking about self-taping audition. So what even is a self-taped audition? So basically, instead of having a live audition for a project and auditioning in front of them, you make a video of yourself auditioning and send it into them for consideration. A lot of auditions are actually self-taped now, which can be really good because somebody in a totally random state can audition for a big project in Los Angeles just by sending in a simple video, which can be a great way to get seen. But in order to get a callback or to book that job, you have to send in a good video so those casting directors say, hey, I wanna see this person in person for a callback or I want to book this person for a job. So today, we're gonna be talking about the techniques you can use to get a great self-taped audition. So let's just get started. So first, let's talk about what you need to have to make this audition video. Good filming equipment. You want something that has good video and good sound so they can hear you and see you, obvi. Don't use something too crappy, but also don't use something that's so high quality. I find that if I use my DSLR to record an audition video, sometimes the file will be so large that it exceeds the maximum limit when I'm trying to submit, which is not good because that means I can't submit. Something like a phone with really good video quality or my little Canon power shot would do a great job because it has great quality, but the file isn't gonna be too large. Here's an example of the quality of this camera. Mrs. Myers, I need to go to the bathroom. So number two, good lighting. Good lighting is definitely crucial also because it definitely affects the way you look in the video. You don't wanna look too dark or too yellow. So you can either purchase a studio light like I have here, or you can even just open up a good window. Sounds like the most simplest of options, doesn't it? You just wanna look natural and well lit. Just make sure you don't have any distracting shadows in the back of your wall. So background, make sure the background of this video is not distracting. Just like with headshots, you want to pick a simple background to record your video in front of so all of the attention is on you. Wardrobe, you wanna wear something simple, perhaps a color that complements you well. Do not wear something super clunky or anything with big logos on it or anything. Girl, no. Again, we want all the attention to be on our face, not on our ugly, distracting clothes. So just wear simple, nice looking clothes. Okay, so now some other very important things to remember while taping this audition. At the at the beginning of your video, you're going to want to sleep, which means saying your name and agency, and if you're not signed, just say your name, your full name. When you're positioning the camera and stuff, make sure you're in frame. In frame is what the camera sees. So make sure you're not cut off or anything, but also make sure that there's not like too much empty space above your head or to the side or something, because that looks a little bit awkward. Try to put your camera on a tripod or put it on something so you don't have shaky camera. If you can, you want to have a reader behind the camera reading the lines of your partner that way you have lines to react to when you're doing your scene it sounds stupid if you just leave like a huge empty space while you're doing your scene to like represent their line or something no it just doesn't work when you're reading your lines look off to the camera or at your reader that's reading to you if you look straight into the camera it just looks kind of weird so I went to the forest and I kidnapped the dog Make sure you do a quick test run of your video just to make sure everything's working. You don't want this to happen. Mrs. Myers, I need to go to the bathroom. Or this. Mrs. Myers, I need to go to the bathroom. Or this. I can't tell you how many times I've filmed a video either for YouTube or an audition video or whatever and I have been out of focus. That is the most frustrating thing because then you have to go back and film it. So just make sure you're in focus, you know, make sure the sound is working and the video and everything. Trust me, it's worth it. You never know if something may have stopped working last minute for some reason. And lastly, remember that with a self-taping audition, a huge advantage is that you have control over exactly 
exactly what the casting director sees. So have a couple of goes at it and send in your best one. It doesn't hurt to do that. You'll probably regret it if you don't do more than one because you'll look back at it just like a selfie. I always find myself taking a selfie and then I'm like, oh, that looks so good. And then I look at it and I'm like, I'm literally ugly. I'm not saying that'll happen to you because you guys are all so beautiful and so talented, but I'm just saying, perfect that audition girl and you will be so confident when you send it in because you'll know that you did your best work. So thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I hope it helped for those of you requesting something like this. I thought this would be kind of a fun video to film. I've never really talked about self-taping before and a lot of you guys actually asked me about it. And I know it can sometimes be confusing, you know, if you're having your first audition and you're like, oh my gosh, I have to self-tape and I've never done that before. Sometimes it's good to just consider what you can do to make it look the best. So yeah. I hope this helped. If you did like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. That would mean a lot to me. Ooh, it makes me so happy to see when you guys give me thumbs up. Also, leave me a comment down below with any video requests you have or questions. I'm happy to answer. Subscribe to this channel for weekly acting videos and follow me on Twitter if you want. And I will see you guys in my next video. I love you. Bye. Mm, open your mouth, little baby. What is it? I'm gonna try a little bit too. Tastes like perfume. <laughs> Corn? Corn? No, you have two more guesses. Sweet potato. Yep. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Mm.